Marco. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to remove the spindle from your 2000 series auto drill here. Uh, real quickly, the tools that you're going to need for this job is going to be a 3 16 Allen wrench, the proper size of inner snap ring plier, and preferably a rubber mallet. If you don't have a rubber mallet, you're going to need to get a punch to go with your hammer so that you can use the center point on this spindle. We want to be very careful when we drive the spindle out that we're not damaging these splines. They'll get stuck. It's a very snug fit in there. The first thing you're going to have to do is take your 3 16 Allen wrench and loosen the collar nut right here, the stop collar nut. If this is tight, it's going to put pressure on the bearing. It's going to be much more difficult to drive out than it needs to be. Once you've got that loose, our next step is going to be to get the snap ring. Now, a quick thing here, typically these snap rings are oriented to the back of the drill. Depending on your machine, it's probably going to be easiest to do this process by removing the drill from the machine. Um, however, you don't need to remove any motor plates in order to do this process. You don't need to remove any pulleys from the back of the drill. So once we've loosened this screw, as far as the drill body is concerned, the only other thing we really need to do here is capture our snap ring and remove it. And if you have an ER20 chuck, you'll be able to remove the snap ring and the wave washers from the spindle without removing your nut. However, we do recommend you remove your tooling uh, just for safety purposes and things like that. Once I've got it at this point, if I've got a Z housing, I'm going to remove the cover. If I've got a U housing, I'm going to remove the plastic belt guard. And from that point, I can simply give a couple of taps with my rubber mallet on the back of the spindle here and I should be able to just pull it out simply by hand and then when you're going to put your new spindle in uh, first of all I would recommend not having the collet in place but we do want to have our uh, collet nut in place unless you have and you want that nut really threaded well on there if you have a uh, pipe that's a suitable diameter to hit the outside race of the bearing. This would really be the ideal way to do this. So we're pushing in from the outer race of the bearing rather than from the inner race of the bearing. Typically, if the fit is loose enough, it's not a problem otherwise, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. And we're just gonna align those splines, slide it in by hand. And in this case, I probably could push it in all the way by hand, but if it was a snug fit, I'd go ahead and get my pipe, drive the outer race in, until it sits flat past the uh, uh, snap ring race there and then I'm just going to put my two wave washers in you should have two of them so if you lost one reach out to us we'll get you another and uh, then I'm going to put my snap ring in place you may have to press the snap ring in a little bit because those wave washers are giving us a little bit of tension. So in this case, I'm just gonna use my 3 16 wrench to push it the rest of the way in, and that's settled in there. Now, once again, like I was saying, if you don't have a pipe of the right diameter or something else suitable to drive the outside race, I wanna thread this collet nut all the way on and use my rubber mallet to tap it in. Uh, the disadvantage of doing this rather than having the outer race, first of all, you're putting pressure on that inner race that you don't necessarily want. Second of all, you've got the chance of knocking out the run out of the spindle. And we set that here at factory uh, typically to be within one and a half thousandths. So if you're whacking it with a mallet and you're not perfect with that, you might knock your run out out a little bit. Other than that, it's a very straightforward process. But like I said, you're probably easiest to remove this drill body from the machine, depending on how your machine's set up. And other than that, it's very simple, just a couple of tools. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a good day.